Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be trying a new pipe tobacco. We're going to be talking about Mac Barron's Vanilla Cream Flake. Very interesting. But before I start this video, I want to remind everyone that uh, these videos are intended for a mature audience or people of age to smoke all around the world. It's not meant for kids. It's not to say smoking's cool, because it's not. And smoking can lead to all kinds of bad health problems. Okay, like all these warnings on this can. Well, it's not in the front there, but... That's funny. Usually there's a big warning on these. But yeah, there's no warning on this one, I don't think. Oh yeah, there is. Warning, this product contains, produces chemicals known of the state to the state of California to cause cancer and birth defects and or other reproductive harm. In short, if you're young, don't smoke. Don't want to smoke just because of these videos. Okay, please. Just, just for adults and people who already smoke. So anyway, uh, enough of a, a warning there. Um, today we're talking about the Mac Barron's Vanilla Cream Flake. Interesting product. Uh, I'm looking forward to this one because um, I've heard good things about it. Uh, this was one that was specifically recommended to me by someone who smokes it all the time. It's an aromatic, but it's not supposed to be a strong aromatic in that it's um, more subdued. It's a, it's a hint of vanilla. It's not in-your-face vanilla. But I'll be the judge of that, at least for my own taste. You can see it's a little bit of a smaller tin. A lot of times the flakes, well, every single time since, I, since I've been introduced to tobacco, when you get a flake, it comes in a square tin, so it fits nicely as opposed to round. Um, this tin, by the way, came from pipesandcigars.com. They cost $6.12. For anyone who's interested, a link will be provided directly below. Um, that's where pretty much all the pipe tobacco came from, except for some, some that uh, people sent to me. Uh, but anyway, let's break this open, take a look at it. This was pre-opened before, so I can smell it. Okay, so first thing we see, it's a beautiful little gold wrapper, Mac Baron Flake. Very nice, very classy looking. So we unflap it. And we are greeted with a bunch of flake tobacco. Okay, from this angle, it kind of looks like just a block, but there are individual uh, flakes in here. They're just kind of stacked sideways. Right, so take one out, take a look at it. Okay, so these are all pressed into a big block, then they're thinly sliced. I think with this one, um, I'm going to try to do the fold method to smoke this. So far, with all the flakes, I've broken them up, you know, rubbed them out, so it's kind of a fine ribbon cut. But today, I'm going to, you know, fold this up and then uh, just put the whole piece right in, because it's supposed to be a different kind of smoking experience. Anyway, what we have in here are Black Cavendish Tobaccos and Virginias, and this is air cured. This vanilla cream has been around since 1999, so it's somewhat new, but still, being a decade old, uh, they're still making it, like I've said before, people out there like it. It was recommended to me. The smell right out of the can here. Uh, I smell all the Virginias. I don't really smell... Uh, too much of the black Cavendish and with the Virginia smells. It's kind of a tangy thing Some people say that straight straight up Virginia's At least some of the newer ones anyway from different companies They kind of have a ketchupy or vinegary type smell to them. They're a little bit sour some kind of a sour note going on in the nose um, This has that but it's not it's not very strong. It's just a little bit of sourness like Just by smelling it. I would imagine if it was food and I ate it. It would have a little bit of a tang if that makes sense. But I'm not going to eat it. I'm going to smoke it. So we'll see what that's all about. Actually, right now. Got my pipe. And I'm going to do the fold method on this. Instead of breaking up the flake, I'm going to uh, attempt this. Let's see how it works out. Where I take the, the full flake here. And I fold it. You know, kind of in half. And then fold it on itself. Do a better grip here. Kind of twist it. And give a nice little pinch. So we'll pack the bowl with that. And that's how I'm going to try this flake. I usually, you know, rub it out, <coughs> break it up. But today I wanted to try, you know, keep it a little bit more together. See what the experience is like. So that's pretty much it. Check the draw. A little loose, so I'm going to tamp it. Much better. All right. So let's try this and see what I think.
All right, so we're charred up. Hmm. <clears throat> Interesting. Well, it tastes uh, very rich. Um, has a lot of flavor. And actually, you know what? It has a lot of good, rich tobacco flavors. But, um... That little hint of vanilla, and I think, you know, this is the difference between a quality aromatic and a cheap aromatic. A cheap aromatic, for the most part, is a bunch of sugars and flavorings that are trying to cover up um, cheap, crappy tobacco. Whereas with this, it's, uh, it's quite the opposite. It's good, um... It's good tobacco that's actually accented by a, uh, a flavoring, in this case, a vanilla. Hmm. Let's see. It's got a nice sweet vanilla um, kind of room note on it. It's a... Uh, very pleasant. It's more towards the tobacco with a little bit of vanilla kind of scent as opposed to just full-blown, you know, vanilla, sweet vanilla. So, all right, guys, <clears throat> I wanted to just mention that um, I'm about three quarters of the way down on this bowl. I have noticed that it's, uh, it's smoking kind of hot, and um, it's not something I'm particularly fond of. Uh, in fact, it's the worst thing I think you can experience when you're smoking a pipe, you don't want to have start getting an irritated mouth or have hot, extra hot smoke. Um, it is, like I said, I think the worst side effect to smoking a pipe is uh, experience a hot burning tobacco. So I'm not liking that, I can tell you that. But as soon as I finish the ball, I'll let you know what my, my thoughts are on it. All done. Pipe's clear. Um, this tobacco started off really nice and it was very promising. But it only took until about halfway down the bowl that it, it, it got flat. It completely lost its flavor. It started getting ashy and kind of just um, tasted like, you know, charred campfire wood. Um, I'm not particularly interested in the vanilla flavor as much as I was the overall flavor. I mean, I happen to like vanilla. And if there was something that was just straight vanilla flavoring, then it would be good too. But um, like I said, it started off uh, like very rich and creamy and delicious. And then just kind of the vanilla faded away completely and then you just had the, just the tobacco flavor which is fine that would have been fine but it continued to progress and it's not like I got all the way down where I was you know smoking some of the uh, the ash and stuff like that it's very good about you know keeping it loose I use my um, uh, tamping tool the uh, poker I mix it up once I started tasting like crap I mixed up the bowl a little bit retamped it didn't help at all I mean I got rid of all the ash out of the bowl but the tobacco at that point just tasted horrible to me Really did not like it. Um, still finished it, tried to give it a chance, and but it was it was uh, uninteresting to say the least. Um, so this one started off good, but it really did not last long, that good flavor. So um, anyway, that's just my conclusion on this, and it's only my opinion. I'm sure there's people out there who love it. If people hated it, <laughs> you know, uniformly, you wouldn't see it on the market anymore. That's how that pretty much works. So anyway, just I'm not a fan of it. I've definitely had much better um, vanilla... Uh, aromatic, you know, so I don't know just just not my favorite one. So that's all just wanted to uh, give you an update there towards the end I, I was doing my best to try to get the most out of it and uh, that's how it works You can't love everything. This is something that I did definitely did not like uh, So that's all. Thanks for watching guys. I appreciate it and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Take care